Hey there, everyone. Yesterday, I came up with an idea uh, of, uh, of a new kind of recurring video that I might do, and uh, along with some other stuff like the legendary mythic hero guesses, um, the, the banner reviews, data mine, stuff like that, I thought maybe, um, since I do this research anyway, just for like my own personal knowledge, it might be kind of nice uh, to have a video of it in case anybody else kind of wanted that information all in the, the relatively the same place. And one of the things I've been doing since I became uh, slightly more free to play again was uh, I, I started looking at the units that we got for free, whether it's uh, Grand Hero Battle or Tempest Trials or just story characters or whatever. And I would see which ones were worth it uh, to build up over some others. Uh, and the big thing that kind of influenced me with that was the Grail system, and because uh, I, I wanted to know who was who was best to use for Grails. Um, so one of the things I started doing was looking at all of the free-to-play units that we had available to us, which ones were similar, and then kind of which ones were the more optimum choice uh, based on availability and and things like that. And so this is kind of a free-to-play unit comparison. Uh, series that I might be doing. This is kind of the pilot, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but nothing too formal. I kind of wanted to keep it unstructured for the most part. Uh, this is kind of what we're looking at right here. We got uh, Hostile Springs Camilla, right? Um, so she is the newest free-to-play unit. Uh, she is a flying colorless dagger, which is important. Um, and over here, I pulled a lot of this information from GamePress. Uh, GamePress's Fire Emblem Heroes uh, database is incredible, so if you ever have any information that you uh, is not in this, or you just want to look up units that aren't here at all, uh, I highly recommend GamePress. They're definitely uh, one of the better options out there that are doing um, very good work. That's where all the data mines come from and things like that, so definitely check them out if you want more. Um, but this is what I pulled from the, uh, the game press site, uh, for graphics-wise at least. And you can see that Camilla has a 151 BST, um, HP 38, attack 33, speed 35, defense 20, uh, or, uh, defense 17, and res 28. Um, and then, of course, she has the ouch pouch. This makes her very, very unique because nobody else has ouch pouch, obviously. Uh, most unit weapons that are seasonal or special to an extent um, are not duplicated. Um, some of the effects occasionally will, will pop up again, uh, which you can see here at start of turn one, grand special cooldown count minus two, um, and then it has the defense res minus seven on foes, which are typical of most dagger units, pretty much every dagger unit. And uh, this weapon specifically kind of mimics uh, what the Ryoma from this banner does as well. Um, but Camilla obviously is free to play. Um, now it's worth noting that Ouch Pouch can be refined. Refines are happening. Um, attack, res, defense, speed, refines, you can do those. And uh, dagger users can inherit Ouch Pouch if that was something that was in of interest to you. Um, she also has attack speed too, which you can see there uh, is not a unique skill necessarily, but it is semi-rare. Uh, it's just not all that useful for the most part. Uh, Nephany and Noir both have them. Um, so for what that's worth, uh, <laughs> they are Summer Noir, I should say. Uh, for what that's worth, uh, it's, it's not a great skill, especially if you're looking at Arena. Um, 160 SP is, is, is not at all <laughs> where, where you need to be hitting for the A slot. Um, and especially since I don't think she has... Uh, she might be able to use that 170 skill, but either way, if you're going to inherit that, you should just get a different A slot skill, um, because that's much, much better. Um, then she also comes with Hone Flyers, which is probably the biggest prize that uh, Hot Springs Camilla, or Springs Camilla, or... God, there's so many alts now. Uh, <laughs> we'll go with Hot Spring Camilla. Um, she has Hone Flyers at 4 star, uh, let alone 5. And you can see the other units down there that have it. Uh, the original Hinoka, um, Halloween, Naui, uh, New Year Azura, Summer Camilla, because why not? Uh, and then we've also got Halloween Nia, who has it as well. Um, and the thing that you'll note on that is there is only one unit in the standard pool 
that uh, that has this skill. And that's at five star. Uh, Hinoka is still a five star lock, uh, which is not too surprising. And she does have home flyers, and that that's a that's a pretty pricey thing. Um, Attack speed two is also kind of pricey, but it's not as effective and it's not as useful. And so, um, if you're if you're ever thinking of foddering a Hot Springs Camilla for attack speed two or home flyers, you should definitely go home flyers. Just saying. Um, so it is a very pricey skill. It's a very rare skill. Uh, like I said, four of the five units, or I guess six now technically, uh, that have it, other than Camilla, are of course seasonal. Uh, they only pop up on the uh, the seasonal legendary banners, and uh, they're they're hard to come by. So always very nice to have uh, home flyers available now. That is the biggest draw for Hot Springs Camilla, I am sure. And I feel like a lot of people were upset about Hot Springs Camilla until they knew this, and then people were slightly less outraged because they're like, oh well, I didn't really want a Camilla alt, but four star home flyers is really really nice. Um, so you can see down there why that's really, really nice to have. Um, so, comparative-wise, uh, Camilla is a flying colorless dagger. We've already covered that, but there's really only one other free-to-play unit that we get that covers all those bases, at least in a worthwhile manner, and that would be Air. Uh, Air down below Camilla there has a BST of 149, so not really too different. Honestly, uh, she has HP 35, attack 32, speed 37, defense 14, and res 31. Um, attack, one point difference, HP, three point difference, speed, two point difference, which as you can see by the rank, um, she's, uh, Air is 17th overall, whereas Camilla with 35 is 65th. Um, so Air, I mean, even though it's a two point difference, there's a big jump uh, in ranking there. Out of all the 300 and... 40-ish units that we have to go by. Um, defense, you know, three-point difference, but it's 17 to 14. You're not really, you, you, I mean, you're, you're, you're splitting hairs at that point. Um, there's, there's not a whole lot of bulk differentiation when it comes to that. So either way, um, the res, however, uh, and you can see by the rank in that too, res 31 compared to 28, that is, uh, that, that, that's a pretty big jump. Um, rated 100. Out of 341 and uh, rated 53 out of 341, so uh, definitely more useful for uh, for for bulk purpose. Um, defense is not really going to get you anywhere, but res definitely definitely will. And so uh, if you're if you're if you're going to be kind of like a, a, a tome killer or a mage killer or something like that, uh, the res stat is definitely what you want. But again, you know, relatively similar in comparison. Um, Liftjaberg, Liftjaberg. I don't really know how to say that, but, you know, heroes, heroes weapons always make me question if I can actually speak uh, proper languages at all anymore, so I don't take offense to it. Um, it's going to grant res plus three, and then uh, at the start of combat, if units HP is greater than or equal to 50%, grants attack speed plus four during combat, and if unit initiates combat, folk can counterattack. Uh, uh, foe cannot make a follow-up attack uh, after combat. If unit attacked, inflicts defense res minus seven on foes. Um, yeah, and if uh, was it? If bonus was granted to unit, deals four damage to unit. So that's kind of a drawback. Honestly, if it didn't have that, um, <laughs> it would kind of be a, a premier OP skill um, because that is a really good weapon. And I think that's ultimately the thing that differentiates Camilla with Air. Um, Air is obviously a mythic hero, so she's also got a blessing attached to her as well. Um, but ultimately, the weapon alone kind of puts Air a little bit higher than Camilla on priority. Um, and then the fact that she also comes with a, uh, a different set of skills on top of that. She's looking at Swift Sparrow, uh, Mystic Boost, and Sparkling Boost, which Sparkling Boost uh, is non-inheritable, so for what that's worth. Uh, at start of turn, restores 10 HP to ally that has been dealt the most damage, which does not apply uh, to Air herself. Uh, Swiss Sparrow 2, everybody kind of knows what Swiss Sparrow does, but uh, on the counter offense, it has 240 SP, which is a much more useful arena skill <laughs> uh, for the A slot than 
attack speed too, just for what that's worth. Um, and then we've also got Mystic Boost, which if you don't remember that, it disables the Calculate Damage using Lower of Foe's Defense Res, uh, and Calculate Damage from staff like other weapons, um, and then it also restores 6 HP after combat. So um, between that, the, the Mystic Boost compared with her weapon, you're really getting um, potentially a plus two heal every turn. So um, that alone is is kind of enough to make me think, oh well, that's that's yeah, it's better. Um, I don't I don't see Camilla overtaking uh, Air. If Air were a unit that we only ever got one of, right, like uh, like an Alphonse or a Sharina or an Anna, for now. If that were the case, I would say that maybe Camilla has a slight edge just because she's going to be available with Grails at, uh, at some point in the near future. And that means you'll potentially be able to plus 10 her. If you haven't used any Grails yet, uh, you might be closer to that than some others. But ultimately, you do have the potential to plus 10 this unit at 5 stars which has a very similar stat spread to air. Um, but again, the big difference is, you know, the, the kit that she comes with, the amount of time you're gonna have to invest in the build, uh, and then the overall weapon, which again, airs is unique to her, it cannot be transferred or inherited or anything like that. So ultimately, is Camilla the best free to play colorless dagger flyer? No. Uh, she's not. Unfortunately, Air we just got not but, you know, six, ten weeks ago, somewhere around there. And uh, she is reigning supreme for the most part right now. Uh, there are some other flyers that might give some uh, some, some contest, like um, Aversa. Aversa is a very good unit, um, but she is a red tome flyer. So the, the similarities don't really consist enough to compare Camilla to her, necessarily. Um, ultimately, Camilla's big, big, big competition is air, and she just doesn't quite measure up. Um, so, that said, if you really like Camilla, go for it. The plus 10 variant is obviously uh, going to be very, very strong. If you're running her in Arena or something like that, it's obviously going to take a little bit more effort to get uh, the scoring up because her base kit, again, outside of Hone Flyers, um, isn't really all that spectacular. But beyond that, um, she's not a bad unit. Like I said, the stat spread alone is pretty darn decent. Um, she, it, it rivals a mythic hero for, uh, for what that's worth. And so ultimately, you know, if you like Camilla, go for Camilla. Um, build her up. Enjoy using the unit. Because that's ultimately kind of what they're there for, you know? <laughs> they're, not, they're not just pumping out Camilla alts for the hell of it. People like uh, Camilla. Some people like Camilla. And uh, I think Choose Your Legends right now kind of kind of helps prove that. <laughs> but um, beyond that, uh, ultimately, if you're, if you're just looking for the best colorless flyer free-to-play unit um, that uh, that you can build up, you're gonna want to go with Hair, uh, at least for the time being. Um, Home Flyers is a very good skill, so if you ever need it, Camilla will be Grail available at some point. Like I said. And uh, Home Flyers is, is definitely something that you don't want to fodder off any of those other five for. Um, just because of the rarity, man. The rarity alone. It took me about a year and a half to get uh, Hinoka, believe it or not. So, uh, yeah. It's, you definitely don't want to fodder that off. But that's the comparison. Oh, look. We got, uh, we got, we got a bonding scene going on. That's fun. Um, that's the comparison. Ultimately, my opinion, if you're going to build one up, definitely build up air. But if you like Camilla, go with Camilla instead. Um, but Air is is kind of the clear winner in that. Um, so in that regard, in the comments below, let me know what you guys think about uh, a series that kind of reflects this. This is just kind of a pilot and things might change structure-wise and content-wise. But um, let me know if you'd like to see other things like this in the future when we get more free-to-play units. And let me know if you are going to build up Camilla and what you want her kit to be. Like, what do you want... Uh, her, her build to be like. Um, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.